Hey, Visante here. In this video, we're gonna react and then probably try to dissect this video of Fall Guys Season 1 mid season update. And apparently, they added some anti cheat measures in there, so I'm excited because who wants to play with hackers now? So let's just watch this and see what's up. Remake gauntlet levels? Are they changing it up? Oh, they have bumpers now. And stuff. The ball there. What the? You have to <laughs> Did they hit the freaking watermelon off the place? The Gidus? Oh! Okay. So you can. So there's ways to launch yourself over. You can time yourself. So they added a bunch of hammers in Whirly Gig here, like in the middle area, and they, they also added some some sliders that you saw and some in the Fall Mountain. And then there's a big Yidus. You can take this Yidus route and launch yourself forward with this hammer. Uh, yeah. So, so so have you noticed right here? Okay. They added, they added swinging balls instead of going from left to right. Right, instead of from left to right to knock you to the side, they're actually going back and forth. And then they added hammers here instead of the sliding donuts. They're, they only have a set of sliding donuts down here. And then they have a swinging hammer here blocking this road right before that wall as well. And, okay, so for hoarders, they have sliding donuts now and then i believe a hammer in the middle area now and then this is the rock and roll and they have sliders during the, the part where you actually roll down the path on the top platform and they also added a hammer on the bottom area once you get your ball down okay so they added these sliding balls as well for a hip parade yeah they did a hip parade um in the beginning here and then Dizzy Heights, they actually have swinging hammers here now. As you're spinning on these discs. So one there, one there, one here. I don't know if there's any more. And then they block your path with watermelons that you gotta tackle down to actually get through at the ending ramp. Did they take out the launching balls? No, no, the launcher's still there. Okay. Oh, apparently... Um, the launcher is blocked here, so it's not- It actually launches fruit if you kind of see the fruits rolling down. Um, and it, it, yeah, you can see it right there, the fruits are rolling down. Like, they're getting- sh they're shooting fruits down instead of actually shooting the, the balls out, so that's also what changed. Uh, correction, I saw this when I was editing. <laughs> and then now you can do big yeetis, like- so that the hammer that you saw on the fall mountain, they had one there um, from when you when you can swing forward, right? And then we have one here where you can use the seesaw at the, at the one place or the other place. Also hit parade. Is that the same place? I don't know. But that looks like that, and it's live right now. So guys, go check it out. All right, so they do have patch notes in their tweet under this video that they, they tweeted out. So. The anti-cheat system, that's what I mentioned earlier in this video. Um, so that's great. And then they added the ability to bind game action keys to your mouse. So you can actually change the way that you play by when you, with your mouse now on the PC. And on PS4, they improve stability for creating parties for the PS4. I play on PC, by the way. So that's not going to make a difference for me. Um, so object and system rounds will now have dynamic variation from one playthrough to the next. Including new object entirely. We plan to expand this system in the future in more rounds. So I guess even if the same map, they can still change stuff up next time you play it. So that that's gonna make things interesting, like the big E this, huh? <laughs> Improve stability when progressing from one round to another. So I guess faster load times or something like that. Um, there should be less disconnects in qualification rooms. All the nice, thank you. 
that was pretty annoying. Bug fixes and levels, spectating mode, and improved resilient when network errors occur. And they also changed the fall ball timer from 120 seconds to 150. And lowered the min player count for some levels to increase round variety. That's good, because then, yeah, we were like, oh yeah, what? we pretty much kind of know what the next round is going to be. But, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, I do plan to probably stream this on Twitch um, when I play this sometime this week or something like that. So check out my socials down below, and I'll see you guys next time with that. Later days.